Hello, everybody. Welcome to the wardrobe. The lion. The witch. And the lion. The Chronicles of Narnia, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Welcome to Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I can't believe this was an actual Harry Potter competitor at the time. This was Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings mixed together with, like, the Bible. I don't know. It, there's a lot going on here. Everyone completely forgot about the Narnia series. I haven't seen this movie since I was probably, like, seven or eight. I actually like the first one, so let's get into it. Who names their freaking kid Edmund? Just stop it, Ed. It was a British person. <laughs> Edmund. Edmund Fordshire. He could have got killed. Stop it. Oh no, your picture of a guy. It's his dad. He was like away at war, Jude. Have some sympathy. A symphony. I'm not an orchestra. Trains, 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 trains. Platform nine and three quarters. Oh my God, they're going to get on the Hogwarts Express. I saw a sticker on a car today that said Baby Muggleton board and there was no one in the car. Um, that's just an invitation to hit them. Exactly. If Dad were here, he wouldn't make us go. If Dad were here, I mean, the war was over and we wouldn't have to go. I know what he meant by that, but it made it sound like the dad was like the person who started the war. <laughs> it really did. The movie's like kind of freaky to me because it's like shot well and everything and then like the rest of them just weren't. Yeah, this movie had mad budget compared to the rest. I believe it's like $180 million in 2005. Holy Holy God, that's a lot. We could play hide and seek. One, one, one. Me and my sisters used to attempt to uh, reenact the scenes from this movie, but we were always missing a kid, so it was weird. You also didn't have a magic wardrobe. I had this little wardrobe that I could legitimately get inside of and just stand in. And so I felt like I was gonna go to freaking Narnia every day. It was so cool. I still think about Narnia whenever I see a wardrobe. This movie did permeate culture a little bit, but not near as much as Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter or anything like that. It depends on um, whether your parents were in ministry or not that this permeated your culture. No, I still see people like occasionally in TikTok comments being like, bro went to Narnia and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. God, you could fly a plane in that tooth gap. <laughs> <laughs> Is Narnia a whole realm or just a country? It's like a little world, like a little dimension because there are other in canon places that are separate dimensions from Narnia. It's not just human world and Narnia. There's other ones. What mythology are we pulling from right now? The C.S. Lewis official written mythology for Narnia. Can you abbreviate that for me, please? S L O M N. Slow mo. Yes, yeah, slow, slow. <laughs> Oh no, she picked up the death note. She's about to kill everyone in Narnia. Why is that kid so ugly? I know, I've been thinking that the whole time and I didn't know. What, her? That. Yes. She looks like a British child. Exactly, let's go. Just, I, I, I was just, um, I didn't want to scare you. He looks like an average Guitar Center employee. He looks like a below average Guitar Center employee. It's so <laughs> It's like the TARDIS, but like epic. My name is Tumnus. Hang on, focus, come on, focus, come on, focus. Yeah! What effect is that pedal? It's the Tumnus effect. It's it's really similar to this vintage pedal called the Klon Centaur. So they called it the Tumnus. Okay, but what does it do? It tums. Uh, it's it's a drive, but it's like a really transparent drive, so it's kind of let's Are you familiar with any Narnian lullabies? Sorry. No. Why would she be familiar with any of them? Yeah, she's like, what is this place, but also knows the customs? Yeah, I've been listening to Narnia Lullabies all my life. I've just got here. I'm really excited. <laughs> she's like Sigma facing at the fire. I'm back. I'm all right. Shut up. He's coming. You see, the only wood in here is the back of the wardrobe. Well, I guess time passes differently, right? Time does not pass in the um, human world when you're in Narnia. Can you imagine the like equivalence to jet lag you would experience from that? Because in the real world, it's been like five minutes and in Narnia, it's been like 35 days. Everyone's like, what happened? You went to your closet and I guess you fought a war. I literally <laughs> just killed a witch. Lucy, I think I believe you now. This kid looks like the guy that would invite you over to play video games and then didn't have another controller, so he just made you watch it the whole time. <laughs> he looks like he plays Lego games on the PS1. Yeah, but he wouldn't let you have a turn at it. Edmund. And how, Edmund, 
Did you come to enter my dominion? My God, it's the world's greatest party hat. I love this. This is <laughs> this looks good. <laughs> it's an ice fez. Yeah. Mm. She does really well in this role. But for some reason, as a kid, I always thought to myself, that's an actress. Look at her face next time and tell me it doesn't look like she's like a wax museum figure. Like To be fair, that's just her as a person. Might be kind of intentional because she's supposed to be like really cold and evil. It's because she's ice. I have no children of my own and you are exactly the sort of boy who I could see one day becoming Prince of Narnia. That's like a Minecraft YouTuber thing to say to this kid. <laughs> Minecraft YouTubers want to ask them to bring their family. Leave them behind. Add me on Snapchat. <laughs> mm. We could all use the fresh air. It's not like there is an air inside. I remember this scene made me so scared as a kid. I was like, oh my God, they broke something. Because of multiple movies, I had such a fear of hitting a baseball and it finding the nearest window, like heat seeking to the nearest window and breaking it. I could be facing nowhere near a window and I thought it was just gonna find it and just Glass actually reflects heat according to thermal cameras. So a heat seeking missile would not be able to hone in on glass. Science rules. Oh yeah, <laughs> then they fall. And then they're like, wow, there's trees. And then they're like, wow, it's Narnia. This is real. You weren't lying. That's amazing. They're all just immediately chill with this, which I think is insane for the older kids. Ow! Stop it! Say you're sorry. All right! You're the softest human that's ever lived. It's a snowball. Literally get over yourself for like four seconds. I hate you. I thought Lucy was bad. This kid sucks. Lucy's just like an actual child and Edmund is annoying. Born Tumnus is hereby charged with high treason. Signed, Morgrim, captain of the secret police. Oh my God, Big Brother has extended to Narnia. Oh my God. <laughs> if you rearrange the letters of Narnia, it says Oceania, like from 1984. It all clicks now. It's a beaver. I ain't gonna smell it if that's what you want. Okay, Rocket Raccoon, got it. No, no, this is Bucky. Bucky Beaver? Is this freaking Buse himself? It's Buse. Who's Aslan? You don't know, do you? We haven't exactly been here very long. Well, he's only the king of the whole wood. The real king of Narnia. Um, Aslan is actually still in charge. Just behind the scenes. He's still the king of Narnia. The queen is more of a figurehead. I think the Ice Queen has dementia. <laughs> Still, stranger, or you'll never move again. I hate his voice so much. I hate his voice so much. I'm a dog. Mm. Wolf bark. <laughs> Mark, Mark. There are two wolves inside me. And I'm one of them. You're the wolf inside you? What? Yes. Unlock your inner wolf. CrossFit. They, they just don't listen to me. I couldn't even do that. Oh, I did bring them halfway. They're in the little house at the dam with the beavers. Then Edwin is going to be like, can I have food? And she's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> Honestly, I side with her right now. I think this kid's stupid. He turned you in for sweeties. All of you suck. They're having a bid off right now. And they're accompanied by the Mucinex booger and a gnome. <laughs> Edmund was like, I want Turkish delight instead of a family. Why have family when you can have dessert? Oh, that looks so real. This shot is probably the worst shot in the movie. That looks like the background that you get for your pictures at the aquarium. <laughs> oh God, it's a statue. It's the, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the guy. He got the gray super leaf from Mario 3D Land and ground pounded and turned into a statue. You're literally yelling and she like just walked away. No, she was never there. The ice queen that was chasing them? It was juxtaposition to make you think it was the ice queen. But no, it's Santa Claus. It's Santa Claus! I'm gonna go pee. That's so stupid and I'm a little mad about that. So I'm gonna go pee. Merry Christmas, sir. It certainly is, Lucy, since you have arrived. Can everyone stop simping for the seven-year-old girl? I know, it's so uncomfortable. So is Santa Claus not human? No, Santa's actually an elf. Technically, yeah, he's like... Like an overgrown elf. It's not like the Santa Claus movies where just a dude becomes Santa. Yeah, the number one place I look for for Santa Claus lore, the Santa Claus movies. Trust in this bow and it will not easily miss. Of course you have a bow and arrow. It's the 
early 2000s. They pioneered it. And then 2012, just every bow and arrow movie ever came out. It was like Hunger Games, Brave Avengers, right in a row with bow and arrow people that make no sense. It's like all these uh, movie studios like control effing books for bow and arrow so they can adapt their stories. The chain of events is starting to crack me up that it's like, hey, they're in Narnia and they met some beavers and now they met Santa Claus and now they're going to like fight alongside a lion to kill an ice lady. Like, what? <laughs> it feels like somebody's D&D &D campaign that somebody wrote down. It does feel exactly like a D&D &D campaign. A lot of this stuff actually has good reasons to happen in the books, but when you watch the movie and they're just like, magic, 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 um, lamppost, Santa Claus, and Aslan. Winter is almost over. No more ice. If global warming is real, why is Narnia frozen over? Well, see, it is real because now Narnia is not frozen over so much anymore. I just got ice in my drink. <laughs> now you tell me how there can be global warming if there's ice in my drink. And I don't think you'll be needing those coats anymore. I don't think you're going to be needing those coats anymore. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Dude, that had to be so funny in like the 1920s when that movie came out. It was cool when they saw color for the first time when that movie came out. <laughs> the original Marvel quote, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Why are they all staring at us? Maybe they think you look funny. Don't this God's army. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, real talk really quick. They're all the sons of Adam and Eve. And then at the end of the movie, Aslan's like, uh, you'll know me by a different name on earth. I'm not going to say which one. On the wink wink. I'm not God, wink wink. It's explicitly shown that Aslan is Jesus Christ in the human world in some of the earlier books. Like Aslan is just God and he pops between dimensions and does God things. Neat. The Walt Disney Company was like, yeah, let's turn this into a movie. <laughs> we have come to see Aslan. Oh my God. Ah. Ah. This just looks like a Renaissance festival. I'm sorry. Ah. Yeah, it does. Ah. Oh, it's Aslan. Aslan is the only good looking CG animal in this movie. He looks kind of like the Twilight New Moon wolves, but you know, we'll give it a pass. I should have said good looking. I should have said best looking. There is no need to speak to Edmund about what has passed. Oh no, he has a really minor injury on his lip. Hope he gets rabies from the dog that caused that injury and then dies because rabies is very hard to cure even today. It's like still nearly impossible to cure. Stop eating so loud. What in the world? They're like, I love ghosts. Why is Edmund like the only person in this movie who eats? Yeah, they're like staring at a bowl of grapes and he's like wolfing it down right now. Eh, wolfing because he was captured by wolves. <laughs> Have you forgotten the laws upon which Narnia was built? Do not cite the deep magic to me, which I was there when it was written. There it is. So much less epic than I remembered it being. <clears throat> yeah, no. Especially considering he roared and talked at the same time, which is interesting. She has renounced her claim on the son of Adam's blood. How do I know your promise will be kept? Get up on my trap just like that. How ah, do I know your promise will be kept? <laughs> my dad burping at the dinner table. Couldn't we come with you? I would be glad of the company for a while. I would be glad of the company for a while. <laughs> I know what that means, but that's such a dumb way to say, hey, yeah, you can hang out. He's speaking in King James. His name isn't James, it's Aslan! <laughs> Could you imagine? All hail King James. Oh, wait. King Bob. It is time. Me when I look at a clock. Do you want some milk? <laughs> Because he's a cat. Because he's a cat. Because he's a cat. Cats are lactose intolerant. It has to be their mother's milk. Uh, Die. Die! Yeah, I already said that. Stole your thunder. Get an aid. This is literally every battle scene in every movie. Lord of the Rings and like Last Samurai and any movie that has a sword in it. It should just be called The Lack of Samurai because they're all dead at the end. Susan! No, that's Aslan. When a willing victim who has committed no treachery is killed in a traitor's stead, the stone table will crack. 
even death itself would turn backwards. Well, if this really specific thing happens in this really specific situation, this really specific event triggers, in which case this very specific outcome is changed. It is so unbelievably dumb. Even with the book that sets up the table to be actually important and not just like a thing he happens to die on, it's still a little dumb in that. But here it's just extra dumb. Wake me up! Wake me up I can't wake up! Wake me up. Oh, his like hot dog breath just brought him back to life. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Me when I was on Xanax and Adderall at the same time on accident because my doctor thought that was a good idea. This is the New Hope sequence. It sure is. Okay, here's the part that gets me. They're like 40 years old now. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot they just skip everything. I don't know about this one, Rick. Oh my God, it's Spare Oom. I've heard the legends of this thing that I did. And they fall back out as children again, which insane, by the way. They now have 50 years of life experience for some reason. Yeah, they're going to be like the coolest, saddest kids ever. And then the professor's like, <gasps> What are you all doing in the wardrobe? You wouldn't believe us if we told you so. Try me. And then the movie is over. Okay. I can't wait to watch The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Um, That movie's... Okay, out of 10. It's fine, but there's worse Narnia movies, so if you want us to watch those, we will. Yeah, we actually started with movie one of a series. Ren, you got anything to say for the outro? No. <laughs> Have a day. <laughs>